Hi guys, and welcome back to Peace Square Sips and Combos with Pamela Guillory Lee and, and Paulette Afro Angel Abby Noble. And today we have our special guest, Terrence Fitness Max Wright. Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? Terrence is a personal trainer. He specializes in non-invasive body contouring. He's an actor and a model, and he also specializes in per, uh, strengthening and conditioning. So welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all having me on, so I've been looking forward to it. Thank you, and Terrence and uh, Paulette and I have known each other since high school, so we, uh, we've we been friends, and he's seen our, our personal struggles with uh, gain, weight gain, weight loss, and carrying on into the holidays so we're here to talk about how to not overindulge during the holidays because that's the time a lot of us have a lot of um extra food uh getting handed to us <laughs> as gifts cookies pies people are extra nice during the holidays so he's going to talk to us about how not to overindulge and exercises that you can do if you're on a crunch i know during the pandemic a lot of us are working from home a lot of us um, are sitting more so exercises that we can do at our desk or just when we're in a crunch for time take it away friend all right, so again, we're talking about holidays, we're talking about open indulging, not to, you know, everybody has new resolu resolutions. Am I saying it correctly? My word yes. is. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, okay. So we want to get right before January. And you know, unfortunately, the holidays is right before we're trying to get right for that new year. Right, right, right. So, but there's a lot of foods coming out. You don't want to offend family members and things of that nature. So there's all these foods that are out, but what, in your personal opinion, would you say, is there a way that you can have alternative foods um, to where you're not having that weight gain, like right. portion control, um, drinking more water, you know, things of that nature? From your perspective as a personal trainer, what advice would you give us? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, during the holidays, I mean, absolutely, you're going to have more food. There's more opportunities to fall off our diets. There's... Uh, friends and families, you're going to people's houses. You don't yeah. want to turn down food because mm -hmm. you don't, you know, you don't, you don't want to be that person. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but a lot of it's going to go back to preparation. Mm -hmm. um, so w within our, our health and our eating and our exercises, all those things require a, a, about a, an amount of preparation. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, if you if you know you're going to the relative's house or you're going to the in-law's house, um, a lot of times I always I like to eat a little bit before I go. I don't want to get to somewhere. Um, and have to wait a long period of time, and then by the time I finally do eat, I got this plate in front of my in front of my face. I'm gonna put everything on it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that's gonna be preparation. So if we're able to eat throughout our day, as opposed to wait to that one big meal um, when we go to somebody's house or um, or piling up our plate, if we can kind of spread those meals out, mm -hmm. um, then then we're not gonna be so hungry. We won't be so uh, in tune to try to fill up that plate when our eyes are actually bigger than our stomach. Right. Um, so a little bit of it's going to be preparation. And then, you know, for myself, the other part of it is, is portion control. Mm -hmm. right. So, you know, even me, I, I get hungry and I, I, I want to get a big man plate. So, <laughs> right. you know, so, you, you know, as guys. Get a big woman plate. <laughs> right. <laughs> All the time. Right. And, and you know, <laughs> some of y'all's women's plate be looking like man's plate. Of course. So, Guilty. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Same yeah. <laughs> but in, yes. At the end of the day, but there, there's nothing wrong with eating those foods, but let, let's not do it all in one sitting. Mm -hmm. right. So, you know, if you know that you have leftover and you have food, let's eat a smaller plate. So I always say your plate should not be full. And if you're one of those people that have a hard time not filling up your plate, you got to get a smaller plate. Okay. So, you know, Mine start off, well. right. <laughs> start off adding the vegetables first okay. and mm -hmm. then add the meat. Okay. If you start off with the sides now, you know, with Christmas time, there's a lot of sides that's not just going to be as healthy for us. Right. Um, so you, you have to pick and choose, and you got to use a little bit of discernment when it comes to our health. Right. Um, so a little preparation, portion control, and just adding those things a little bit of, you know, thinking ahead of time. So, mm -hmm. you know, Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Joanne, you know, she don't do nothing but ham hocks and, and, and chitlins. Mm -hmm. right. You got to prepare before that. Okay. You know, so, so whether it's taking you some fruit, whether it's taking you a bag of almonds or whatever, have something that you can snack on um, so that you're not just starving. So by the time you do eat, you don't want to just pile up. The right. So, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. so what are those things that you actually put together 
at home before you go out for the holidays? Like, what alternatives would you suggest? Um, I know you mentioned like vegetables and fruit. Like, what else? Like, um, honestly, I'm I'm notorious for having sandwiches on me. Yeah. Um, so especially when I used to work oil and gas, uh, a lot of times you know you might work a 12-hour shift mm-hmm. and um, you know you might have a vending machine. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm notorious for keeping sandwiches on me. So you know whether you're you're driving, if you're an Uber driver, I got friends that do Uber driver to say they yeah. don't. So you're gonna put you a lunch kit. Mm-hmm. You're gonna take that kit and you're gonna again back to preparation, mm-hmm. and you're gonna put that in your car with you. If you know you drive, you know yeah. you're gonna do that for five hours, mm-hmm. and your and your options are gonna be Jack in the Box and, and Whataburger because you're doing it late. Mm-hmm. Then you have to plan ahead. Yeah. Right. So you know whether it's. But what if it's somebody who's trying to lose weight? What would you suggest? That's the so, same thing. With bread, with the bread involved, because I know I go ham on bread. <laughs> like, so but, let, let me I ask can you eat this: bread. Do you know better though? I do. But there you go. Just, well, but it's part, just part like, of it is like okay, a sandwich bread. Okay, so if I'm gonna have bread, I might as well kill it off with some chips. Why? And then if I'm gonna have chips, I might as well kill it off with some cookies. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how do you get into that mindset? Like, what is it a healthier alternative? Well. Or someone that's looking to lose weight. Oh, well, the, the the number one step is is provide yourself with the right options, right? Right. So in order to do that, the very first step to going in that direction is when we go into the grocery store, we got to buy the right stuff. Yeah. Okay. So that means not buying chips. Okay. So if we don't have the chips in the in the pantry, just you can't grab the chips, right? Okay. Yeah. So if it's not there, then you can't eat it. Okay. So number one. Let's do better when it comes to our grocery shopping. So when we go into the store, okay. let's let's go in with a, a plan, mm-hmm. right? So if you go in with a plan and you have a list that we're going to stick to, then that's that's part of our preparation. We go into the grocery store prepared, and then we can come home and we look into the fridge and look into the pantry. Now we don't have but a couple of choices, right? Yeah. We're we going to eat something in there. So if we provide ourselves with good stuff when we come home from the grocery store or or we door dashing, Mm -hmm. you know, especially with the pandemic, Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times we don't, we're not in the grocery store, Mm -hmm. but we can store, search and tell, you know, Joe to pick us up some, some fruit too, Mm -hmm. along um, with the vegetables. So stay away from uh, a lot of uh, processed foods pretty much. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you know, also I had some great advice from another personal trainer. I'm not gonna show him out because we got Terrence here. We're gonna focus on his business. But shout out to my homeboy TJ. I trained with him as well. He's an awesome personal trainer, also in the Houston area. But uh, one thing that I've learned is like uh, uh, from him is that he would actually do tours inside the grocery store. So he would focus on the perimeter outside of the inside foods because the inside foods are more of the processed stuff that right, right. you should stay away from. Do you also provide that service with your business as well? Yeah. Um, for all my clients, we I like to provide them with a couple things one is a is a food guide and that food yeah. guide is going to give you alternatives to the main things that we usually eat so right. if it's if it's normally white rice mm-hmm. it's going to give you whole grain right. if it's normally white bread it's going to give you a uh, wheat i so, think i still have that list yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you, I didn't send it to me you you know. i don't always obey but right. yeah you so send things me that like list. that yeah. um mm-hmm. the other part of it is things that are easily digestible so yeah. especially in this day and time uh our bodies are very sensitive to a lot of the things that we put into mm-hmm. it. So, so in that, you also have to be very aware um, of just what your body responds to. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, totally for Especially that. Especially when we when we're getting older, our body our body responds to things differently Ooh. now than it oh, did yeah. in our twenties. It's like I can't eat that anymore. You know. It's, yeah. it's when you do, definitely. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. you do, yeah. Now, food awakening in the morning. Yeah. And and well speaking of that, so when it comes to our eating you have to practice. So if if your body is used to eating bad things, you have to practice eating the good things mm-hmm. so that you your body goes through that transition. Right. right. Um, now once you go through that transition and your body gets used to eating the good things, it's not gonna want the bad things as much. We still have cravings. Right, right. You know. Uh, Personal trainer or not, I like Oreo cookies. I can't mm-hmm. buy them because I'll I mess them up. Uh-huh. They're gone. Uh-huh. Two days, they're gone. Uh-huh. All of them. A the whole classics. <laughs> right. um, so in that, I, I know not to buy the Oreo cookies. Mm-hmm. So 
you know, temptation is one of those things that if you keep tempting yourself, mm -hmm. you eventually you're going you're going to you're going to give in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So and, and I think that really goes with, you know, our self motivation and also having people around you mm -hmm. that are going to look out for your best interests. Mm -hmm. You know, I got I got clients where they say they go to work and they co-workers purposely bring them brownies and cookies uh -huh. Uh -huh. and they say they feel like they're trying to they're trying to sabotage uh -huh. their way and, and maybe that's mm -hmm. not the those folks intention mm -hmm. but you also have to be aware of your surroundings and if you know those people ain't going to do anything but bring your cookies and brownies mm -hmm. you know sometimes you got to be like hey but and that's going to happen a lot now during this time because of the holiday there's nothing Everybody's wrong with more saying no during the holiday there's you nothing don't wrong anybody. Okay, so you're an actor. Okay, okay but tell I'm Auntie Gail, not <laughs> Bad Peach Collins. Now, you do your little acting skills. How do you I'm not offend me? Yeah. But I want you to eat my Peach Collins. I'm going well, number one, I got a thing for Peach Cobbler, so I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna turn down the Peach Cobbler, but also in that, if I know that I'm, I'm trying to work on my weight loss and I'm trying to lose weight and if I eat this peach cobbler, it's only going to sabotage my results. Right. So, yes, the polite thing is to, to take it. But if you know, mm -hmm. if you take this thing home, you're going to eat it, mm -hmm. you have to say no. So, you you know, you have you have to, you know, be logical in, in the reasonings and the things that you do yeah. um, to, if you're going to get good results. Absolutely. So, same thing. If, if you know that you can't not eat the chips, you can't bring them to the house. Okay, so yeah. maybe celery. Chips and celery. I mean, uh, sandwiches and celery. <laughs> Doesn't even even sound the same. Sandwiches and celery, or you know, but I'm like one of people. That I have to have something crunchy with my sandwich. So yeah. There's plenty of cr crunchy things that Ooh, will benefit you. Like chip. <laughs> like what? Chip like carrots. Chip I thought that. Yeah, it kind of gives you that feeling that you're eating potato chips. Yes. Okay. I, so I, I like what I mean. It's yeah. mental. So the the, the chickpea fry. Mm-hmm really good so if, if you haven't tried chickpea fries as, as far as a snack is is they're good they kind of taste like potato chips but okay. they're healthy right so if, if, if you want to find healthier alternatives there's stuff out there yeah um, you know you just have to take your time do the research and act like that's a priority right. so your fitness should not be something that we uh, put into our schedule mm -hmm. last. It's mm -hmm. something that we build it's into our schedule yeah. while we're making it. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you know you got appointment on Wednesday and appointment on Thursday, then your fitness should be your next appointment on Friday. Mm -hmm. You know, so you should be on your calendar. It should mm -hmm. be an alert. And mm -hmm. you know, if you need reminders, use that technology that we have around us. Mm -hmm. right. Use those resources that you have set reminders. Mm -hmm. Put Put the 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 30 minute walk mm -hmm. on your calendar okay so you know those kind of reminders are things that are will keep you on track when we start to waver so fitness pal um man as far as fitness pal hands down i i, I recommend that um you know it, it does take a little time to input some of the foods mm -hmm. but the the results is you're you're learning what portion size are going to get you results right. so um, for instance if you're on a 1200 calorie diet and you you do a big lunch so say your lunch is five six hundred calories and you only have you know 200 calories for the rest of the day right. you know that okay next time I should eat a, such a big lunch and it's gonna really just help you learn how to eat properly um, learn what foods mm -hmm. you know all right, so I was I've been eating this uh, cheddar popcorn that I thought was healthy, but now that I plugged it in, it mm -hmm. has such and such fat in it, and mm -hmm. well, maybe I want to use my 300 calories on something that's you know with more substance. In it. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, it, it teaches you how to you know pick better foods. Mm -hmm. It helps you to track your results. So um, even for my professional boxers, um, you know, I say if you don't know where you're at you can't tell me that you're doing it the right way. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So unless you know for a fact that, mm -hmm. yes, I'm hitting my goals, yes, I'm, I'm under my calorie count so mm -hmm. that I don't have excess calories, mm -hmm. unless you can say, yes, I'm doing it, and, and you can prove it, how do you know? Yeah. Right. So, so that's a document. Yeah, so, so knowing, knowing really is great. 
that's the biggest part of it yeah am, am i on track am i not on track so you know small things like that those resources are going to help you um, just do better with your nutrition so even if you don't quote unquote go on a diet mm -hmm. which i don't necessarily always recommend because diets aren't something that we're going to maintain right, right. so we want to do healthy choices mm -hmm. healthy choices we can maintain healthy right. choices we can practice right we can't really practice a diet. You right. know what I'm saying? It's either we're going to do the diet for or a certain not. period of time yeah. or we not. Right. So um, don't really recommend, recommend dieting, mm -hmm. but healthy choices, absolutely. So okay. Healthy choices you can practice, you can get better at, you can set goals. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, at the end of the day, anything that we're not good at, we practice. Mm -hmm. so. MyFitnessPal.com, right? Use yeah. it. Use Definitely a good really resource. Good. I love it. So um, again, like during this pandemic, during the holidays, um, a lot of us are uh, forced to work at our desk, work from home. Um, what are some exercises that when you're in a crunch, like real quick that you can do from your desk or if you have a stand-up job that you can really do without looking crazy <laughs> or you know, just like <laughs> some exercises that like if you don't have time um, after work or when you get home or during work to have a like a real workout session what are some quick things that you can do just to kind of maintain or just to burn those calories throughout the day yeah um well especially um if you're at a job or a position where you're sitting long periods of time mm -hmm. um the most important thing is to make sure that you're just getting up and, and getting that circulation mm -hmm. and stretching right. um so a, a stretching is going to be a huge portion of our fitness mm -hmm. so you know it, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're doing a hundred thousand squats if you're doing all these exercises if you're not flexible enough mm -hmm. to to reap the rewards for them okay. so your flexibility especially if you're in a position where you're sitting down long periods of time is going to be almost just as important as you doing any type of exercise mm -hmm. interesting okay so mm -hmm. Um, a lot of times, if you're just sitting at your desk or you're sitting stationary for a long period of time, you need to get up, mm -hmm. just touch your toes, mm -hmm. stretch. Um, I, I, I like um, this exercise called windmills, where literally you're standing up um, in a spread eagle position and you're reaching from your toe I left that to right. Uh, elementary school. <laughs> we used to do that in right. elementary school. But great uh -huh. exercise, so uh -huh. especially for your lower back. Uh -huh. So it helps with circulation. Uh -huh. So the stretching is great for the hamstrings. So uh -huh. that's probably one of the. the uh, muscle groups that most people don't really hit a lot is our, is our hamstrings and our lower back. So something like a, a windmill, mm -hmm. um, which you really don't need any weight, you can do 15 to 20 of those, work up some circulation, mm -hmm. um, especially this time of year if you're cold. I have a friend uh, who uh, has sickle cell, so she definitely has to do a lot more moving around yeah. to keep her blood flow, mm -hmm. right. or she'll start to have attacks. So mm -hmm. things like, like that, or um, Especially at this time of year, getting up and just drinking water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Water is so important um, to help hydrate and lubricate our body. Mm -hmm. So I think of, of water as the same way I do oil for your car. Mm -hmm. Right. So you. if you're not putting oil in your car, mm -hmm. you can you can run it for a little bit. But you do know that you're putting wear and tear on your car, mm -hmm. and eventually it will seize up, mm -hmm. right? Same thing with water mm -hmm. in our body. So yeah. if we're not properly lubricating our body, we're not drinking enough water, mm -hmm. we're going to start to have ailments, whether it's dehydration, whether it's inflammation. So a lot of those things can be combated mm -hmm. just by drinking more water. Um, people say, oh, how, how much water should I drink? Half your body weight in ounces. Um, so the, the easy way is if you're 100 pounds, you should drink 50 ounces of water a day. If you're 200 pounds, that's 100 ounces of water every day. Um, and, and again, that's going to help with your circulation. That's going to help with your flexibility. Um, when we're hydrated, mm -hmm. um, that also helps prevent injuries so we don't pull muscles and mm -hmm. tendons. Mm -hmm. So it's, it helps with our elasticity. Ah. elasticity. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> So, and that's just not in our joints, but that's mm -hmm. our skin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Stretch marks. Mm -hmm. If you're not hydrating, you're going to be more prone to what? Stretch marks. Mm -hmm. So, same thing with our skin and lotion. Mm -hmm. If you're not hydrating it, it's going to become dry and brittle, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, same thing. Yeah. You have to hydrate. And that's going to help across the board. That's um, repair. So, if we're sore, drink mm -hmm. more water. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my dad used to always say that. 
like <laughs> my sister fell off her bike. Shout out to my sister. <laughs> she fell off her bike, and I don't know if it's a Nigerian thing. My dad was like, "Just go drink water. <laughs> you can get shot. Go and drink water. Somebody punch you in your face. Go and drink water." <laughs> Water going to do, <laughs> but obviously it is a natural ailment for your body. So right, I right. get it now. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm maybe not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But, yes. advice. Oh my God, but yeah. drink a little bit of water, yeah. you'll be all right. right. Yeah. <laughs> smart, smart man, you know, yeah. may not apply to everything. <laughs> right. I think he was trying to avoid things. <laughs> right. But, yeah. That's all funny. Right. So, what do you feel about intimate fasting? I know that's a new trend that a lot of people are getting into where they break up what time that they eat and when they end eating meals. So, right. how do you feel about that? Um, intermittent fasting, uh, there, there's benefits to it if you're doing it the right way right. Um, and that's kind of like with anything else so for me uh, I don't recommend my clients do intermittent fasting throughout the day um, I, I recommend that's something where um, works at least in my, in my experience works better in the morning mm -hmm. so intermittent fasting you want to wake up early in the morning you haven't had breakfast let's go run some cardio mm -hmm. we're gonna go we're gonna go hit the block whether it's walking running jogging uh, we're gonna get our exercise mm -hmm. before we eat, mm -hmm. so that way we're 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 gonna burn what excess that we that we have. We're gonna mm -hmm. get our body to using our our fat that we already have to mm -hmm. fuel our workout. Mm -hmm. um, so in that, once we finish our workout, then we can go and replenish all of everything that we deplete. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and that way, if you're going to do it in the morning, mm -hmm. do your exercise and then eat afterwards, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do recommend it. But if you're doing intermittent fasting, um, you, you also keep in mind that you're, you're keeping your body from supplying it nutrients. with nu nutrients mm -hmm. and, and nourishment. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel like if you teach your body how to speed up its metabolism mm -hmm. means that I'm going to feed it more often, right? Mm -hmm. Not less. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to speed up your metabolism in that your body is going to, I think of it like a light switch. Mm -hmm. So at the point where you're eating regularly mm -hmm. and your body says, okay, I know you're going to feed me every three, four hours regularly. Mm -hmm. So in order in, for me to keep up with you as your body, I can only use the things I need and I gotta hurry up and get rid of the stuff that I can't use. Right, right. So that's the light switch, that's the yeah. metabolism. Generally, we can't start to achieve that within our body until we practice it for at least two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. At two to three week mark, you will get, a, 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 that light switch will go off mm -hmm. in our body if we're being consistent mm -hmm. and our metabolism will change. Mm -hmm. You'll feel it, you'll, you'll wake up, you'll have more energy. You'll eat food and, you know, two, three hours later, you're, you're hungry again. Mm -hmm. And if you can continue to maintain that where you're eating to your satisfied, not to your full, mm -hmm. your, your metabolism will speed up and you'll naturally start to burn more fat. Yeah. So not just while you're up in your day, the, the majority of our fat loss and our calorie loss is mm -hmm. while we sleep. Mm -hmm. So while we're sleeping, our body will go into to boost mm -hmm. and start to burn those calories even faster while we're sleeping. So that's the other part of it is making sure that we're getting proper sleep so that we mm -hmm. can recover. And that's where our, the majority of our weight <laughs> loss is gonna happen uh -huh. is actually while we're sleeping. Cause the less sleep that you have, which I know is within my body, is that I have an issue with my bloating. So if I don't get like the seven or eight hours of sleep, it's gonna show up. Right. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. yeah, absolutely. You, your body needs sleep. time <laughs> to, to just mellow out. Mm -hmm. Helps to detoxify, helps to really just get rid of all those things that our body naturally would do yeah. if we give it time. Yeah, okay. awesome. That's good advice. Okay. And so, uh, keeping with the holidays, what do you think about New Year's resolutions? So, a lot of people say, okay, January 1st, I'm about to, I'm about to attack it. I'm about to get into this gym. I'm about to lose 20 pounds. And then March comes around. In January, the gyms are so full. Everybody's ready. You know, everybody. But then March comes around, and you, mm. it starts to dwindle. And then by May, I mean, the gyms are just the people that have this as a lifestyle. So everybody right. that had that New Year's resolution is gone, but the people that have this as a lifestyle are still there. So what do you think about New Year's resolutions? Um, weight loss goals. Good. Weight loss goals, New Year's resolutions, um, initially they're good things. Mm -hmm. So to, to 
number one, acknowledge that there's something within your life that you want to change. Right. That's a that's a bit of benefit of that. That's a good yeah. thing. So you know, being able to take that step, that's always something that's commendable, mm -hmm. but it's just a step. Mm -hmm. So you know, in in taking that first initial step, um, it's it's good to set that goal, mm -hmm. but also be able to be logical in in, in your journey yeah. and set goals that are that are also easily obtainable. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you're always setting goals that are hard for you to obtain, you're gonna be discouraged. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, set set goals. You can have a New Year's resolution, but also in that New Year's resolution, set smaller goals that you know you can achieve. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and I think that goes back to where, where people say, "Oh, cheat days." Mm -hmm. um, my philosophy on a cheat day is, if you have not achieved the goal. You can't have a cheat day. But come on, man. I know. He is so bro. tough on that. I remember that. I was like, well, that's my cheat day. <laughs> right. I'm looking at your uh, your body measurements. Nothing has changed. <laughs> you don't get a cheat day. Right. Yeah. But so, when you do yes. get to that cheat day and you have achieved that goal, uh -huh. it's gratifying. Yes. Right? Yes. We, we've achieved something. We've set a goal and we've accomplished it. Mm -hmm. And then once you start to get that feeling repetitively, mm -hmm. it gets addictive. Then you'd be like, okay, you know what? This is my next goal. Mm -hmm. And this is my next goal. Mm -hmm. sure. And then, you know, the next thing before you know it, you're not even setting the goal. It's just what you do. It's, it's right. a lifestyle. It. This is what lifestyle you're doing. Okay. So. okay. Well, not only are you a fitness trainer, but you're also into acting and also a little bit of philanthropy as well. Right. So you have a challenge that you're a part of. Can you explain more about that with our audience and let us know yeah, absolutely. about this challenge? Um, uh, well, how it started. Uh, a couple months back, I started doing a 22 push-up challenge, okay. uh, which was a challenge to bring awareness to combat veterans. Mm -hmm. um, but I was having a conversation with my friend. He was feeling that it wasn't enough. Yeah. Um, and I agreed. Uh, but also in saying that, I don't want to take away from that challenge because it brings up conversation. And conversation in any capacity is always a bonus. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I wanted to do something more, so I came up with what's called the Vet 44 Challenge. Mm -hmm. um, what that is, is I'm taking two vets, mm -hmm. and we're going through a 45-day challenge where we're learning uh, about their health and fitness, mm -hmm. their, their mental health, mm -hmm. um, their spiritual health, and incorporating all those different aspects of our mental and physical health mm -hmm. um, into a 45-day challenge. Mm -hmm. And in that, there's a fundraiser, and at the end of that fundraiser, at the end of that 45 days, is we're going to give all those proceeds to those two beds. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Okay, great. So, so how do you um, donate? Um, if you want to donate, you can go to the Vet44 on Facebook, and on there, there's the uh, page you can donate. Okay. Um, if you want to reach out to Fitness Max 24-7, myself, you can always reach out to me. I'm always available. Um, and you can donate. And this is something where uh, we're also bringing in local businesses mm -hmm. um, to also... Um, collaborate in the community so it's okay. not just about helping our vets it's about bringing the community together it's exactly. about helping one another and, mm -hmm. and just you know a lot of times even with personal trainers um, people don't like to share information people mm -hmm. are, are very tight-lipped mm -hmm. on just yeah. helping each other mm -hmm. and, and I really hope that you know in the course of everything that's going on in this last year that mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we're able to really open our eyes and, and kind of get past some of those mm -hmm. um, speed bumps that's kind of been held in us back. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends that have a desire to work to work together, but sometimes I think we kind of get discouraged when we come across people that, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, maybe they just have strings attached or maybe yeah. they don't really mm -hmm. want to help you out of the goodness right, of their heart, right. you know. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So, you know, I really want to get away from that and, and this is solely just to help the vets yeah. I'm, we're not going to actually recur any money so all the the fundraising all the money is going to the vets to and you are uh, a vet yourself yeah yes. marine super mm -hmm. five we're <laughs> yeah and uh <laughs> you know to to help with their grocery shopping mm -hmm. to help with their meal prepping mm -hmm. to help if they need different gear yeah. um you know mouthpieces so that they're prepared and i think once you feel like you know you have a game plan and you have people that's behind you to motivate you mm -hmm. and you know there's nothing that you can't accomplish so, right um that's really what it's all about is just giving back showing that you know they're not forgotten we got they back and mm -hmm. you know with a good plan and 
there ain't nothing you can can accomplish. So we want to do this conf, uh, this transformation is going to start in January. Okay. Um, and then it's going to go 45 days and end in February where we'll announce uh, our winners, give away some money. Okay. And uh, hopefully that'll be something big enough that we can keep doing that every year. All right. Now tell us again how you can donate or how you can get involved with it. Yeah. Um, well, if you're a vet and you're interested um, in participating in the Vet 44, um, you can reach out to me, uh, Terrence Wright, Fitness Max 24-7. Um, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. Um, if you just want to get more information about the challenge, it's the vet, the veterans44.org. Um, so that's the website. You can find us on Instagram. Um, and if you just want to donate, um, by all means, uh, you can find the Vet 44 Challenge on Facebook, and you can donate there. Well, so not only are you a philanthropist, you're an actor, you're a personal trainer. Um, so we want to get your personal opinion because we also know that you're into another avenue in your career. Can you tell us more about that with the non-invasive life ball? Okay, absolutely. So um, the thing about fitness is you can be deep into your fitness you can be eating correctly mm -hmm. you can be doing the proper exercise um, and, and just really focusing and being consistent in your exercise and still have trouble areas mm -hmm. yeah um, so whether it be uh, a lot of females where they've had children and they maybe they have excess skin or mm -hmm. stretch marks um, in those times where you know you, you want to be able to do something about those trouble areas but you're not to the point where you want to go have surgery right mm -hmm. so you don't want to get cut on but you have a trouble area mm -hmm. yeah so in those cases what we have is non-invasive uh fat loss so okay. that's everything from uh fat freezing mm -hmm. where we actually go in and we take your excess fat and we put it in between two cold plates and we freeze the fat mm -hmm. um and how that works is your fat cells actually freeze quicker than your skin cells so we're able to um, condition and protect the skin so we put a membrane over the skin mm -hmm. and then we actually put those that, that excess fat between a cold plate mm -hmm. and between a 30 minute process we freeze those fat cells um, and then once we take the, the cold wand off we recondition the skin we get it back to uh, room temperature mm -hmm. and then over a 30 day process it takes generally three to four weeks mm -hmm. um, you're going to get rid of those excess fat cells that we've frozen okay. so half of those cells are going to be frozen we're going to those going to be uh, drained out through your lymphatic system mm -hmm. and then the other portion of those are going to be actually dead fat cells that we've, we've frozen and now they're dead mm -hmm. so through the process of drinking plenty of water mm -hmm. um, and draining uh, those toxins and those dead fat cells out of our lymphatic system, mm -hmm. you have a permanent weight loss. And that's what I was going to ask, is this a permanent fix? Yes, okay. so the, the, the fat that you lose from that process is permanent, considering you're doing the right things. Now, if you go do some fat freezing and, you know, that next day we're not drinking no water and we go eat pizza, yeah. don't expect to see no results. Right. Really? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find a quick fix, Terrence. Let's be honest. I ain't got time to work out like you do. So, so mm. there, 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 there's crack. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you want to lose some weight, just crack. <laughs> you know. But uh, honestly, there, there is no quick fix. So yeah. You can't do spot training. Uh -huh. um, which, where a lot of people, want, they want to, we want to wear a, race, a waist trainer. Yeah. And we only want to do ab exercises mm -hmm. and think that that's going to taper our waist. Right. Yeah. Our bodies generally just don't work that way. Nice. So um, the best way for me to kind of ex really explain it is to think of our body, our bodies as uh, kind of like an onion. Mm -hmm. And as and just like with the onion, you don't peel it mm -hmm. in one spot. You have to peel the whole thing layers. in layers. Mm -hmm. right. And that's kind of how our body works when we're getting rid of fat. So whatever your problem area is, mm -hmm. that layer, that area is going to take longer than the areas with less fat. So, you know. When we're losing a, a area of fat, it's a little thin layer, just like a, on an onion, mm -hmm. off of everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So if, if we have a whole bunch of excess fat in our midsection, mm -hmm. that section will take longer. That's a long right. Time. Mm -hmm. So we can we can do things like wear waist trainers to help burn some excess fat. Right. But you can't spot train. Right. Right. So you we can make we, one area smaller than the other. Right. Not unless you want to go do lipo. 
Um, and even with the non-invasive fat loss, um, these are things that work in conjunction with doing exercise, right, right. with proper diet. Um, so permanent, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, is it, is it something where if, you, if we need to lose 40 pounds, mm -hmm. no, it's not gonna help mm -hmm. you lose 40 mm -hmm. pounds. So this is where we have trouble areas. Um, and we, we, we want to tone and, and shape them. Mm -hmm. So we can, I would say typically, we can remove it an a inch mm -hmm. from your waist. So okay. if you if you're feel soft and maybe you don't have any ab definition mm -hmm. whatsoever, we can bring some definition in. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna give you a, a major transformation if you're not doing the right things. Now, if you're someone, say, um, well, you're already in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. Say, you know, you're in the gym consistently, your body fat is low, but you still got a little poop. Mm -hmm. Great candidate, we can come in there, we can do uh, skin tightening, mm -hmm. where we use an ultrasonic mm -hmm. uh, vibration to help get the elasticity back into the skin, mm -hmm. and that also helps build up collagen, and then we do uh, cavitation, which mm -hmm. is uh, a process of which we use ultrasonic vibration to help melt the fat. Mm -hmm. So in those conjunctions, you can do uh, fat freezing. Mm -hmm. That process takes about 30 days mm -hmm. per section. So mm -hmm. if we do this section, that's, you know, we can't do this particular section for 30 days, but mm -hmm. we can come over here and we can do this side. Mm -hmm. So um, fat freezing generally is a 30 day process per section mm -hmm. um with some, like cavitation where you're using the ultrasonic to do toning you can do that every few days mm -hmm. so generally um is none of these procedures um are painful okay. um now the fat freezing you do get a little tenderness but it mm -hmm. just kind of depends on your on your body okay. some people bruise a little more some people don't get anything mm -hmm. so okay. i've tried it on myself i didn't get any soreness i didn't get any bruising yeah. um but other people they might two three days be tender and then mm -hmm. you're generally good and as long as you're drinking plenty of water during that process you'll get some pretty good results okay. um, and then how long does uh, the procedure take so so when you come in we'll do a consultation do your fat loss um, where we're basically measuring and seeing where the areas we can pull fat from mm -hmm. um, we're gonna take pictures and then the process itself from we condition your skin mm -hmm. we do the process which is about 30 minutes mm -hmm. and another 15 minutes to recondition your skin and it depends on which one you're doing so the fat freezing about an hour and a half the okay. first time that you come mm -hmm. and then moving forward it's about an hour okay. um, the stuff like the cavitation where we're doing the skin tightening and the toning um, that's about a 30 minute process so it's really pretty quick um, with the cavitation um, and things like laser lipo, we're using infrared light to mm -hmm. help uh, shrink the fat cells, so mm -hmm. it gives you a tapering uh, effect. Also, you can use in conjunction in between your fat loss for your fat freezing. So basically, you do your package. Mm -hmm. We, you come in, we do a consultation, and the first session we do your fat freezing, and then over the next couple of weeks, you come in, we'll do cavitation. And then we'll also do the skin tightening mm -hmm. so that when you're losing that fat, you still keep a nice tight skin. Okay. So. so tell us where you all are providing the service. Yes, you can come and find us at Get A New You Spa. We're located in North Houston off of Jones and Fogwell. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I close. Y'all exactly okay. come in. <laughs> I'll give y'all a free consultation. Y'all come try out the services. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Terrence, for coming to Peace Square Sips and Convo and being our guest here. We're actually at your studio, at your boxing studio. So please tell us the tell our viewers the address of where they can get personal training and strength conditioning and you even train boxers boxing training so let us know the address here so we'll let our visitors know the address here so you can provide their them services absolutely so if you're looking for training uh, whether it's fitness weight loss conditioning um, you want to get more into boxing you can come find us at legions training complex and we're here on north freeway that's 9930 north freeway right behind the shell um, come find me, reach out, call 832-896-1390, and that's Fitness Max 24-7.
And again, with the body contouring, we can find you. We can do the body contouring. Where? Give us the address again. So if you're interested in body contouring services, non-invasive, uh, you can find us at Get A New You Spa. And that's on Jones and Fallbrook. Um, here, I'll tell you what the address is here. And that's 10626 Jones Road, Houston, Texas, 77065. So come see us. And thank you again. Uh, this is, We're going to tune out here with Peace Square Sips and Convo. We didn't have anything to sip today. Uh, with Some the exception water. Of Some water. water. <laughs> <laughs> with the exception of water. I mean, that's, that's very fitting. But please like, subscribe, share. Share with your friends. Share with your enemies. Just share uh, Peace Square Sips and Convo. You can find us on YouTube. We will always provide the link on Facebook and even Instagram. So please like, subscribe, share, and enjoy your holidays. And we hope, holiday. you, we, we hope that you learned something, some of the exercises. And we're also going to send a link to a workout that Terrence does. And we're going to send that link in this, um, in this video so that you can check out one of his uh, workouts as well. So please like, subscribe, share, and happy holidays from Peace Square Sips and Combo. Like down below. <laughs> yes. <laughs>